Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Galveston, Texas, where Good Citizen News is not exactly being a good citizen as he is filming the daughters of a um, local man who, well, takes an exception to it and tries to do something about it. And comes close to, well, putting this so-called good citizen down. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. Hey guys, Good Citizen News coming back at you again with another video. I hope y'all having a great day today. So in today's video, we have this boater here. He doesn't understand the First Amendment to public photography. Guys, I don't get why people are so dumb and act the way they do, especially this day and age with cameras everywhere. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. The police do show up, and me and this dude do go chest to chest. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely agree with you on that. There are some incredibly stupid people out there, and, uh, well, the sad fact of it is you're one of them, especially the way you insult his daughters later on in the video. I mean, to insult a man's daughter in front of him is, uh, well, asking for trouble. And, uh, well, if that man had been, well, willing to do so, I am sure that you would have been on the ground. At this current moment, I was in full belief that he was going to step on one of these girls in order to get on the dock. Well, I wonder what that says about you at this point, dude, because clearly there was enough room for him to step off out on the dock, you fool. You know, this uh, not-so-good citizen right here needs to answer a question. Why are you lingering so long on what appears to be several underage teenage girls? I mean, come on now. Wouldn't this strike you as a bit, uh, well, creepy, dude? I know I would find it creepy if somebody were lingering that long on a bunch of underage uh, girls. I mean, come on. It's just natural at that point. Huh? I'm coming to both, bro. What are you doing? I'm filming you right now with my eyes. Yeah? Why do you have that point of a bunch of girls? I'm filming the boats, bro. What the fuck's your problem? My problem is I got three girls been over there, 16 years old, and you're filming. Well, That's they're dressing like whores. It's Doesn't not like whores. I'm going to give you my number. We'll see you this weekend. We'll square off. We got mutual combat, bro. I'm ready to square it up if you want to go now. Dude, if my kids... Hey, Austin, uh, I hate to be the one that calls you out on this, but I have a feeling that if this guy had taken you up on that offer that, uh, well, you would be the one running away uh, and being put into the ground if he caught you. Because, well, I don't think he would take too kindly to what you said about his death daughters to begin with. I know I certainly wouldn't. Ruin you right now. Okay? Yeah. I'll see, you, I'll see you at Helene Gracie Academy next weekend. If anybody knows what the Helene Gracie Academy is or where it is, please let me know. I looked it up on Google and I couldn't find it. Uh Austin, uh it didn't take me long to find uh 
the uh, academy that he was looking for because all I had to do was look up Martial Art Academy in uh, Galveston. I mean, if you would just at least take the time to actually Google properly, maybe you would have found it. Which tells me that uh, you were not actively trying to find it, which means you really weren't going to want to fight this guy anyway, because if this guy is a martial artist, well, I can guarantee you he would have put you in the ground. I bring my camera wherever I go. Yeah, big words from a man walking away. Then do something. I told you, do something. You want to do assault charge, my friend. No, I don't need us. I don't need cops. I don't need the cops, bro. You need a list. I don't need cops. I protect myself. Do it. Never touch them. You're the one telling me to do something. You do it. Yeah. Then do it. Well, apparently somebody called the police and they show up soon afterwards. So let's go ahead and find out how this ends, shall we? You tell them that filming's not illegal? It's not illegal. Cool. Thank you. You know, Austin, uh, maybe I should email you that uh, academy address and everything like that. Maybe he's still willing to meet up with you and uh, take care of business. Because I would certainly love to see that. This man right here has got a lot of big words. Big words. Big, big words. I'll talk. See ya. That's a nice rig, but it's got a it's got a uh, it's got a coward inside of it. No, I would say the man behind the camera is the coward because you couldn't even take the time to actually find out where this place was and, uh, well, meet him at that location, I suppose. Because it only took me one minute on Google to find it. Where you, uh, what, took how long? Maybe an hour to find it, if that? And you never found it? I mean, come on now, dude. Learn to use the Google machine properly. But probably for the best, considering that it was a martial arts academy that he was directing you toward, which probably means he's experienced in that field, and which would further mean that you would be outclassed. So, yeah, it would have been your funeral. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?